So Joel Embiid has had some pretty interesting comments to say after his team's last two losses. Let's start with after game five, in which Embiid commented on Nikola Jokic winning MVP back-to-back -back years. Joel said, I'm not even mad. That's two years in a row I put myself in that position. It didn't happen. It's almost like at this point it is whatever. Whatever happens, it happens. I just knew it wasn't going to happen. Obviously, congrats to Nikola. He deserved it. He had an amazing season. There's no right or wrong. There, were, there was a lot of candidates. It could have gone either way. I guess every year is all about whatever you guys decide, whatever fits the narrative as far as who's going to win. That was after game five. Now, after game six, in which the Sixers were once again eliminated from the postseason, this time by the Miami Heat, here's what Embiid had to say about James Harden's performance. He said, since we got him, everybody expected the Houston James Harden, but that's not who he is anymore. He's more of a playmaker. I thought at times he could have been more aggressive. All of us could have been more aggressive. All of us. It was guys like uh, Tyrese Maxey or Tobias Harris or guys coming off the bench. And I'm not just talking about offensively. I'm talking about, you know, as a whole, offensively and defensively. I don't think we were a good defensive team. They took advantage of a lot of stuff that we tried to do defensively. And then offensively, just really everybody being on the same page, obviously only having probably, what, three or four months to work together and try to figure out maybe it wasn't a lot of time. I don't think we played our best basketball. So, ladies and gentlemen, this video, I'm about to really – walk a thin line because I literally see both ends of the spectrum here. All right. I'm going to take up for Joel and B first. And then we got to be very critical of him. I'm a reporter. All right. One of the things we get mad about being a reporter, being in the media, we complain when athletes give us generic answers to questions. When I was doing on the road articles with, when I was in college and, and, and right out of college, when I was on the road uh, doing more stuff with teams, I would complain that athletes would give me the same generic answers. When I was doing a lot of interviews, you know, when I could always tell when an artist or an athlete was uh, media trained, right? They give me the same answers to questions, generic PC stuff, right? It, it, it doesn't make well for YouTube. It didn't make well for any article I was writing. I would complain about that. One of the things about Joel Embiid, especially when his season comes to an end, he'll give it up. He'll tell you how he really feels. Last year, he told you how he really felt about Ben Simmons, and now he's telling you how he really feels about James Harden. He's like, for anybody that thought we were getting Houston James Harden, that's not who he is right now. It's honest, but I want to take it to my other side where I get a little critical of James Harden. I'm having a hard time, or of Joel Embiid, about how critical he was of James Harden, rather. I'm having a hard time here with this one. We live in a world where nobody likes criticism. Everybody's too sensitive to criticism. You could be saying the most obvious of stuff. Everybody saw that James Harden wasn't his old self in that series. Joel Embiid said it, and people are calling Embiid out for doing exactly what got Ben Simmons. Literally sent him into a mental health spiral, pretty much, when Doc and, J and Joel last year said, hey, you know, Ben need to take better shots. He need to take more shots. Now Embiid's like, yo, we didn't get Houston, James Harden. He's not that guy anymore. I'm having a hard time with this one because it's like part of me is I love that Embiid's honest, but it's also like if you know the world we live in, that guys don't respond well to criticism, you've just seen a guy not respond well to criticism to the point where he demanded a trade away from your organization and literally has not played another game since which with another guy in James Harden who though he's older has been a obviously a much better player than Ben Simmons in his league we clearly know struggles with some mental demons in big games I'm having a hard time feeling sympathy for Embiid being critical of James Harden after he just lost Ben Simmons last year especially with Harden being in a contract year if he wants to be I'm like yo Embiid do you have to comment on Nikola Jokic winning MVP the way you did, you did, which he's pretty much like, I don't know what I have to do. But the problem is you said those comments after an important game five, bro. Your team lost game five. Your comment to the, to the MVP conversation should have been simple. I don't care about that right now. I'm in a series. I'll talk about the MVP awards after the playoffs. Right now, I'm trying to win finals MVP right now. That's the only thing on my mind. He did later on address trying to win a championship, but he, he should have never said 
the part of, I guess, the media changes their vote. I don't care how mad you are. You're supposed to put it out there to your teammates. I don't even give a damn about that darn MVP in the regular season right now. Jokic ain't playing right now. I'm still playing. Who cares? That should have been the message because that team needed that for game six. They didn't get that message. They got an MB who clearly you could tell him not being MVP was on his mind. And when I heard that, that was ridiculous to me. Like, it's, it's over and done with. Yes, the regular season accolades are great. I love that we got players who care about accolades. I think that's great. That's healthy. You should care about your stats. You should care about all that stuff. But to the point where it's literally hindering your performance in game five and six when there's a bigger accolade to be had, like, regular season MVP is a great honor to have. Only so many guys have done it. But, Embiid, if you go on to win a championship, the finals MVP is an even more exclusive club. <laughs> you know? Like, yes, you did not get the regular season win, but you're literally about 12 wins away from getting something that's even greater. So, I, I, I cannot believe this man gave that answer to about uh, Jokic winning MVP. And then to give that same an answer, that Ben Simmons like answer about James Harden's performance, it, it's honest, right? It's the truth. But everybody knows it. I don't know if he should have said that coming off the year he had when clearly Ben Simmons never checked back in into that organization. And Jay we've seen Harden check out on teams in the past, a la Houston and Brooklyn just three months ago. You think he's going to be happy going into next year? Knowing Embiid's like, yo, this ain't Houston, James Harden. That guy's gone. Hell, James started last year in Houston. Like, damn, that much has changed in a year's time frame? Like, he said that, like, James ain't played for the Rockets in, like, eight years. That was just, he literally just started season before, like, like last season, 2020-21. He literally started that season in Houston. That was Houston, James Harden. 